How many of you are peaceful? How many of you have sat in silence over the last week or so? What about today? Go find some time, 15 minutes. I'd say do it for an hour, how long, however long you can to disconnect, shut that phone off, don't have any music blasting in your ears, take a walk in nature, be with God, just see the world around you. Uh, this morning, I was listening to the birds. We slept with our windows open. 4.15 in the morning, it's still dark out, and the birds are chirping outside the window. And I just sat, and I'm like, how many birds are out there? And I just basked in the beauty of the music that was coming out of these little creatures that God created. And I'm like, why do they chirp in the morning? What's up with that, you know? And I, you know, you know the, the early bird gets the worm, but why are they chirping so much in the morning? What's that all about? I don't know. God's got a reason for everything. <laughs> I just don't know them all. But those are the kind of things that come into your mind when you think about God's creation and your small little part of God's creation, right? I started thinking of the cosmos and then I would kind of narrow down through, you know, the universe into earth, into, you know, the United States, into Illinois, into Chicago, into my house, into my little self in my little bedroom and how small and insignificant I am in this incredible creation that God has. It's really quite awesome. And just thank God for being here. Thank God for your life. Thank God for all the blessings that you have. I mean, you're here for a reason. If you're not sure what that is, ask him. He has a calling for you. No matter what, you have certain talents and a lot of people run away from them. So I will keep you in my prayers. I'm going to run into Mass right now. I'm also going to sit in silence in front of Jesus in the tabernacle. I pray that you all prepare for this Sunday, the Solemnity of the Body and Blood of Christ. I put a Eucharistic uh, miracle blog in here. So those of you who have no idea what the Eucharist is or what the heck I'm talking about, you can look for yourself the scientific proof that the host, the Holy Communion wafer, turns into Jesus body, blood, soul, and divinity. And when you receive them in your body, you are being transformed and filled with grace. I mean, how cool is that? Alrighty, everyone. I love you so much. I am going to log off now and get into mass so that I can sit for a few moments. Yes, I prepared. I read in advance. I am so ready for today. Oh, and then confession is after. Yay! Alrighty. I love you all. Have a blessed and inspired day. Take care. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. I've got like 30, I think, people that I need to subscribe. And then I can come live and we can have some conversations. Because I need some engagement. Just talking into this phone kind of blows. <laughs> All right, everyone. I love you. Take care. Bye.